Hey, welcome to today's video. My name is Sass. Today we're playing Hogwarts Legacy. This is the second video of the Hogwarts Legacy series. I had a first look in my first video just to see what it's like. And now we're going to get into it and see what we need to do next. I'm really excited to see what we need to do and what other things will happen because it was pretty intense <laughs> first start. It looks like I need to introduce myself to a few people. So. Oh, hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know who she is. Just some Likely random owl. The Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself. Especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. I'm not worried. I'm really not worried. I'm sure I'll be fine. Nevertheless, it is rather unusual. You must feel terribly... out of place. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora nice Evelyn. Name. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. All right, so we're going to introduce ourselves to more people. At least they're in this room. I would love to see the Ravenclaw common room. Maybe we'll replay it and go oh, to Slytherin and Ravenclaw. Little cat. Yeah. What are you, Arthur Plummy? Uh, I can't. Quite reach. Uh, come on, he went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in. <laughs> Why is his voice like that? <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way, all right. I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> I still get lost Welcome sometimes. To Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. It nice to meet old. you. Was that I'm your Arthur? Pet? No. One of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My I mother doesn't think too them. highly of them, especially magical ones. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowtruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> Anyway, I better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. All right, bye, Arthur. Nice meeting you, Arthur. And good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Why do I have to introduce myself to these people? <sighs> oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumours. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? Yeah. That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Is your uncle Are you sure here? everything is all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Are you sure everything is all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. Again. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Is her uncle the guy that got eaten? <laughs> The dragon was like, num num! Alright, let's speak to you. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. I want to know who Probably Professor here, Weasley is. When you are here. Is she Make Ginny? What's her first you name? You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in no, it can't be Ginny. Unique situation, Run in Hermione's daughter? You'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Ooh. 
Here you are. What's that? Whoa! Whoa! What just happened? What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Oh, that was cool. Oh, so we got a few things. There's a challenge. Each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete from appearances to critical upgrades. What's this? Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show okay. you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay, open map is this button. Oh my god. Is this the map? No, I want to have a look around. Okay. Green flue flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. Grey flue flames. Grey flue flames. Reveal the location of undiscovered flames. Green flue flames. Grey flue flames. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall flue flames for you. These are to rotate. I see. And then travel. Ah, that's so cool. Quite the time saver. Ooh. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Where is this? Wait, where are we? Oh, so I need to stop following her so I can look around. Quickly from Central Hall. Why have we not seen this in Harry Potter? Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. I think rules against beasts in the dorm. That should be all for now. <gasps> yes. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon Ooh, as possible Hogsmeade. to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. So we're going to attend offense, Defense Against the Dark Arts. Where are we going? This way. Revelia. Revelia! What's this? Reveal! Oh, let's roll out. You can see how people can get distracted. I don't open the door. Whoa! Whoa! We're at the castle! Is this where Mad Eye turned? Draco into a little weasel thing. This tree. <laughs> no, this coming out small. No, it is. No, wait. No. Oh, this is the wrong classroom. You know what? I should really look at the map because it is telling me which way to go. <laughs> oh, I found a flu flame. What are you up to now? I want to attend. Hang on. How do I use it? <laughs> Luma, <take go>. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is the door. Oh my god, I didn't even see this door. What is this place? Revelio. Oh, it's a bit clunky transition. Sorry, guys. Is that all you've got? Whoa. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean. Why does she look like Professor Fig? It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now. You may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Oh. To the wise, age matters very little. 
Today we will review a spell that has saved me from the death of the dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. When guardian levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No. One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now. Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Why are there so many guys in this class? Steady your wand and guide along the symbol to... Alright. Oh, I did that really badly. <laughs> it was better than Protego though. I, I didn't Adiosos. press any buttons correctly then. Can you live it over so yourself? Now, let's try something a little larger. <gasps> My turn. Let us begin with a basic cast. Use. Okay. Is See this... how the dump deflected your cast. This yeah. time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Which one's Levioso? A surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Levioso. Oh. Now the basic cast. Well done. Oh, that's a lot of buttons. <laughs> and we've only learned three spells. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. All right, well, let's Start duel. I guess the take your marks. sword people. Well, okay. Now, I want <laughs> the dudes in the armor. Using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. I don't even know what Protego was. This should be easy. Protego. Complicates things. Alright, so Levi Oso. Ah! Whoa! Whoa! I'm trying, I'm trying to get my <laughs> bearings. <laughs> Lucky. Nothing lucky about it. What's a six? This can't be your first duel. Press the same as the man. I do enjoy a lively duel. Oh. Let me open. I'm going to do this with a second. Use the basic cards when your opponent's guard is down. That was intense, and that was just a classroom duel. <laughs> Not bad. Smashing the buttons. You give as good as you get. <laughs> it kind of looks like Podrick from Game of Thrones. I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Thank you, Professor. Yay, Eckert. thanks. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, Grindelows. is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Begin quests. <laughs> this is so much fun. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Oh, Thank she's you. so cute. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> 
Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. <laughs> My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Here? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Here, alright. Yay, I love Akio. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Oh, that's really ah. pretty. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> Whoa, where did he get that from? <laughs> so, why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Uh, what are we doing? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last oh, possible I see. moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones. Hold if our you team, will. press but the assign button to cast out, You are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall. Yes. Now I could be talking about theory all day. Splendid. <laughs> So close. All right, uh, we're gonna do that again. Excellent control Ooh, there. Yes. All right, let's see. We we'll get this one. Very there we good. go. Yes. So that was 120 points. Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, oh, just I as see, before. I and see. Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. She gonna go first? Let us see this. Oh, okay, she's pretty good. That is how it's done. That is how it's done, all right. Now I'm nervous. 
Oh no! It happens to the best of us. Here we go. Ah. Can I echo her ball off the court? Oh no. Oh, so that's 30 points. Jeez. Seriously? There we go. <laughs> I will get you back for that. She won though. That's okay. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? What was happening? Are we doing it again? <laughs> oh, I, I see. We are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Watch this. Oh. Okay, which one's mine? Oh yes! Oh, that was so close. Look, that's it. <laughs> she might end up knocking mine. Here we go. Oh, oh, so close! I thought she was gonna knock mine. Okay. I'm gonna have to wait. Oh, is that over? Yes! <laughs> Let us see this. Oh, she's gonna knock mine. She's gonna knock mine. Oh! So close! She could have kept it going. Alright. Oh, I just made her points go up. <laughs> A perfect score. Remarkable. Oh, I won. I thought she won. I was like, no, no. Okay. That was fun. I like that. Very good, both of you. Well done. Hey. What now we were just here. Room, this is where we got lost. I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. That's a weird oh, uh, area. Excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Nope. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra, extra assignments. Extra assignments? Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. Ooh, I get a wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. 
I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful Ooh, one at that. Her. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm, it seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Click the flying page near the broken statue. Click the flying page near the defense against the dark arts tower. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. I saw the flying page. Revelio. Okay, how do I Accio? Accio! Got it! Oh hell yes! <laughs> okay, now we gotta go. Oh, what the hell is this? Where? I... Don't know where the door is. Oh, hang on. I think we can use the blue network. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. I don't see it. Some kind soul help me. Oh, there it is. Here. Ah, there we go. So now we got to return to Professor Ronan. Okay, where's the teacher? There you are. I trust the preliminary tasks work. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. Repero. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit Ooh. of your magic. Oh. I didn't know what button to press. <laughs> cool, we got the mending That's charm it. of power. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Yay! So we completed some quests today. We are basically just going to classes. Ah, oh, it's so much fun. Alright, let's try Reparo. Reparo. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> that looks like a very scared person. That statue. Cool, I think I'm gonna go to Honksmead in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's gameplay. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.